with March on the horizon, it is fair to say that we are reaching the business end of the season, and after events in midweek, there have once again been a number of twists and turns at both ends of the Premier League table. Liverpool and Manchester City continue to push each other close, while the race for the top four has been blown wide open. In addition to that, the landscape has also changed in regard to the group of teams hoping to stave off the threat of relegation. We now enter the final quarter of the campaign, and it seems as there is no rest for the wicked, what with another full league programme this weekend. With that in mind, here is our preview for Week 29. Saturday March 2 Tottenham vs Arsenal with such a big weekend of football upon us, it is almost fitting that the North London derby gets proceedings underway at Wemley, and it is a clash between two rivals that could almost go on to be season-defining. Tottenham have lost their last two league meetings and are on the edge of entering crisis mode, while opponents Arsenal know that a win on enemy territory will see the gap between the two clubs close to just a single point, a scenario that means it is high stakes indeed come Saturday. Give them a but accumulator. Man United, Man City and Chelsea all to win dash 9 fifths early goal in the early kickoff. A goal scored 115 mins in the North London derby dash 2 slash 1 red shot Liverpool to stay amongst the goals. Over 3.5 team goals dash 2 slash 1 Mauricio Pochettino's men have looked leggy in their last two offerings, while Arsenal have looked dominant and will go into this game full of confidence, so much so that odds of 5 halves with Kivemi but to win this encounter looks incredibly good value. Manchester United vs Southampton Manchester United's injury list looks eye-wateringly long at present, however that was not something that stopped from them cruising to a routine win away at Crystal Palace on Wednesday night. Next up they play host to a Southampton side who got the better of Fulham in midweek, in what was nothing less than a relegation six-point, and with that win, the Saints now find themselves outside of the bottom three. United are now unbeaten in their last 11 Premier League outings, the longest current streak in the division, and there is little to suggest that the run comes to an end on Saturday. It should be a routine home win, and you can get them to win to zero at odds of seven-fifths with Kivemi but. Bournemouth vs Manchester City Bournemouth were on the end of an Arsenal thrashing in midweek, and unfortunately for them the fixture computer is no kinder come the weekend, as next they prepare for the visit to title-chasing Manchester City. Pep Guardiola's men were arguably showing signs of Carabao Cup fatigue in midweek, when up against West Ham at the Etihad. The Hammers were stubborn in defence, but their resistance was finally broken by a second-half Sergio Aguero penalty. That was good enough to earn three points for the defending champions and they will be confident of finding the same outcome on the south coast this Saturday. This is a game that promises goals, and if over 3.5 hit the back of the net, then give them a but will have you covered at odds of 21 twentieths. Brighton vs Huddersfield Brighton's slide down the Premier League table has certainly been alarming, and manager Chris Hewton knows that the visit of Huddersfield on Saturday is a must-win game, especially after the Seagulls have failed to win any of their last seven league matches.
That unwanted streak is also the longest in the division at present. And to make matters more difficult, they go up against a Huddersfield side who picked up their first win under new manager Jan Stewart on Tuesday night. In the grand scheme of things, that win does not change all that much for Huddersfield, as you get the feeling that relegation is still inevitable. However, it also shows that they are not prepared to lie down either and could be good value for the 12 fifths odds that give Emma but are offering for a draw. Burnley vs Crystal Palace A recent run of good form has seen both Burnley and Crystal Palace pull away from the relegation zone, and both clubs know that they are just two or three wins away from securing their top flight status for another season. And both Sean Ditch and Roy Hodgson will be identifying this turf lure clash as one that will assist them in their quest for safety, while, at the same time hoping that their respective sides bounce back from midweek defeats. Burnley also claimed the recent scalp of Tottenham and will be looking for more of the same in front of their fans this Saturday. Whichever way it pans out, don't expect too many goals, though and odds of 20 27ths with Kivema but 4 under 2. 5 could well fatten up any weekend accumulator. Wolves vs Cardiff Wolves may have lost to Huddersfield on Tuesday night, but they still found themselves moving up the table 24 hours later. That's because they managed to take full advantage of the huge dent that has Liverpool put in Watford goals difference, and as a consequence, they have reclaimed 7th place. This Saturday they play host to Cardiff side who were soundly beaten by Everton on that same Tuesday night and Neil Warnock knows that his players will be in for another stern test at Molyneux. Wolves have not won any of their last three league matches and subsequently, they will be keen to end this small blip at the weekend. New no Espirito Santo will feel the win is just around the corner, and it is a feeling that give them the chairs they are backing the hosts at odds of a half. West Ham vs Newcastle The Saturday evening kickoff takes us to East London, as West Ham play host to Newcastle. The visitors will be looking to continue their recent impressive league form, and in turn place further distance between them and the relegation zone. Things were looking bleak for Newcastle at the start of the year, but Rafael Benitez's men have won 13 points from the last 18 on offer, and this purple patch could not have come at a better time of the season. A run that suggests that their survival is just around the corner. The hosts look like they are in the comfort of mid-table, and you do have to wonder what they have left to play for. A situation that Newcastle will look to take advantage of and in turn you can take advantage of give Emma but offering odds of 10 thirteenths on the draw, or Magpies win on the double chance market. Sunday March 3 Watford vs Leicester Sunday sees Brendan Rodgers take official charge of Leicester for the first time, and his opening port of call will be Vicarage Road, a ground he knows well after managing Watford during the 2008-9 season. A lot will have changed in 10 years, though and this particular Watford side will be looking to bounce back after being humbled by another of Rogers' former managerial appointments, Liverpool on Wednesday night. A 5-0 defeat saw the Hornets lose their sting at Anfield and Javi Gracia will be demanding a much better performance this time around. However, the new manager bounce could well be in effect for Leicester and you can back them at odds of 39 20ths with Kevin Ibert to pick up an away win. 
Fulham vs Chelsea after defeat to Southampton on Wednesday night, things are looking incredibly bleak for Fulham and their hopes to keep themselves above the choppy waters of relegation, especially with just 10 league games remaining. This Sunday sees them play host to local rivals Chelsea, and the blue half of West London will certainly be resurgent after a win over Tottenham on Wednesday, one that saw keeper Arizaba Lago drop to the bench after his Wormley subordination. With Chelsea back in the winning groove, they know that a top four finish is still not out of the question and they'll be confident of picking up three points at Craven Cottage, especially with the hosts' defensive woes. You can get odds of seven halves with Give but if the Blues win by two clear goals. Everton vs Liverpool It is fair to say that Everton under Marco Silva have been indifferent this season, and with them conceding further ground to the top six, then the former Hull and Watford manager is starting to feel the pressure in terms of his long-term employment prospects. That pressure was alleviated somewhat on Tuesday, when he witnessed his side get the better of Cardiff. However, there is a much tougher test on the agenda this weekend and one that sees them play host to table toppers and Merseyside rivals Liverpool. The Reds were firing on all cylinders on Wednesday, after beating a hapless Watford. Missing from that goal haul was Mohamed Salah, and although the Egyptian has drawn a blank in his last two league outings, you can pick up odds of 2021s with Kivemibut for him to score any time on Sunday.